Hey guys, uh, Rock here. It's June 17th, uh, 2021. I got a 2006 Yamaha Kodiak 450 um, that I'm going to be doing a uh, review and a test drive on. This is the Outdoorsman Edition. So it comes with a few extra things. Um, a stock one one. Comes with the nice push bumper brush guard as you can see covering the headlights uh, it's got a winch worn winch not sure if the hand guards came with it or not them are power mods so probably not but it's got the extra rack in the back here and i believe when it was new it came with a gun rack also i did not get that with this one but uh but as you can see this thing is in excellent shape it's uh, 2006, so it's um, you know it's it's a few years, 15 years old, but it's in real nice shape. Does have one little crack right there, break in the plastic down here, but uh, other than that, real nice machine. So this is very similar to the bigger Grizzly 660, um, as you get your digital digital speedometer there with your total miles your hours uh, you can go through and clock what do we get down here uh, different trips you can set um, trip a trip b uh, yeah this is a pretty nice machine so it's so it's similar to the grizzly 660 but this is definitely a smaller version. Um, it's more of a, I don't know, I'd call it a mid-size ATV. It's a 450, but it's it's smaller than, say, Polaris's 450 um, or 400. Uh, yeah, they did have a 450. Those use the same same frame as the the bigger machines, but this is a smaller machine. So we're gonna hop a, hop on it take it for a ride and see how it does this does have fully independent suspension um, front and rear so it should be a decent ride uh, these are original tires on this thing 25 inch uh, actually the Goodyear rawhide I thought they were gonna be Dunlops but all right well let's hop on this thing and take it for a ride all right, so we'll hop on this thing. First thing you notice, it's definitely a smaller machine. So if you like smaller machines, this is this is the machine for you. Um, well, you got the key switch up here this time. Um, so this is a little confusing sometimes. The older Yamahas had a starter button right here, where now it's up here, and you have an override for reverse. It's nice that you have the override. Um, so over here you get the uh, low, high, neutral, reverse park in the transmission. Um, you got a two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive selector here with the differential lock. So that's pretty handy. Um, <laughs> you can really feel it when you're going uh, when you're going over uneven places this thing is very it's got a low center of gravity which is nice for taking corners and stuff like that it just doesn't have the ground clearance as some of the other ATVs do the full-size ATVs so so power good power actually for a 450 this is a liquid cooled machine um, single cylinder and uh, it, this is carbureted also so you do have a choke uh, for when it's cold so we'll get on to her a little bit it actually gets up to 30 pretty good right there um, this is high range we'll try to 
low range just for the heck of it see what kind of I'm sure it's lower geared than it's uh, some of the bigger brothers there and we're doing uh, what 19 20 but that's that's as fast as you want to be doing in low range Actually got a nice nice ride to it. It's handling some of these bumps pretty good. Doesn't have quite as much uh, suspension travel as the bigger Grizzlies, but that's okay. Kind of curious to see up here how it does. Um, got kind of an uneven surface where you, that differential lock comes in very handy. Um, so we'll see how this does just because it's so low I bet it's gonna stay nice and planted we'll see where I brought a Grizzly 660 up here and it seemed to want to tip so low range four-wheel drive what's going on here <laughs> sticking a little bit differential lock as you can see, diff's locked in now. We're gonna go up. Look at this. We are hitting bottom a little bit on this rock, but I guess we did leave the ground a little bit. But you feel a lot more stable on this because it's so low. Uh, so that differential lock is nice when you're going up stuff like that, but man. We need to take it out now because of uh, um, it makes it turn real hard. Back up a little bit. Slide it back over. Actually, we'll put it in two wheel drive. That's right. This one, you got to put it in, I don't know if it's a safety thing or what, but you got to put it in reverse when you're changing the. Uh, Changing your two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. You can put it in, but when you take it out, it seems like you got to put it in reverse. Yeah, this is not a bad machine. I mean, it's a little low, but as far as the handlebars go, it does feel... They feel a little too low compared to what I was have been used to. The up a little higher would be nice, but no, that's right. Another thing I noticed uh, this is a, the Kodiak 450. It doesn't have a digital fuel gauge where it's got a manual one here, um, whereas the the bigger the Grizzly 660s, 700s, they all got it right there. But, Kind of curious if the newer 450s did that. Well, we'll uh, try her out. <laughs> I noticed right there, went over a little bump, hit a rock. I would like a little more ground clearance, but. a nice little sporty machine low to the ground feels like you're flying I'm doing about 30 oh so yeah we'll find out so I got a pretty good rock pile up here that uh, <laughs> that'll really test the ground clearance on this thing I don't even know if I trust that. So I brought a Grizzly 660 up here uh, earlier today. And it, uh, I don't even know if I hit bottom on any of these rocks. That did have some big 28, oh, 8 inch tires. But, so <laughs> One thing I really like about these Kodiak 450s and the 400s, I had a 400 at once, you can run low, uh, high range in these things. 
until you get into the scoopy stuff, then you want to throw it in low, but they're, they're pretty low geared. <coughs> so, I definitely need four wheel drive. Probably better put the differential lock on right now because uh, <laughs> we are gonna hit bottom here. Got out of there and do a little maneuvering, but take it out of differential lock. So as I was saying, uh, yeah, I've, I had a Kodiak 400. Uh, that I used to run as a kid and that was a great machine I beat beat on that thing and very similar to this except you didn't have the differential lock um, and uh, that machine you know you really don't need low range and what they ended up doing I mean I'm sure they did it to save some money but they ended up taking the low range rate out in the 400s um, now, well, I, I don't know if they still make it, but, you know, th this, say 2006, when they made a Kodiak 400, you didn't have high and low range in your transmission. You only had forward, neutral, and reverse. Uh, now, I don't really care for that. I'd, I'd much rather have a high and low range, but, but that just goes to show you that they did gear it so well i'm sure those are a little lower geared to compensate for the no low range but but this is all in high range that's one thing where watch out for them sticks this uh this has got the ultramatic yamaha transmission which is a wet clutch, uh, wet clutch system, CVT. So basically, you got your normal CVT clutch like a snowmobile on the outside. Now on a snowmobile or a Polaris, your primary is always moving and then it engages and it, it smushes the belt and to actually turn the driven clutch. Now this doesn't. You're, if you got the clutch cover off, you can watch your primary. It doesn't even move until you give it gas. So basically there's an internal wet clutch inside of that that uh, that'll engage and turn everything. And what that means is uh, well, you definitely got to run the right oil in this because of that. Um, but what that means is you're going to have a very long lasting belt life in these Yamahas. Um, I have not known any to go bad. I've seen a few that I've took apart that are weather cracked. Um, just from years of, you know, the water and all that. But uh, you just don't need, need to replace a belt on these very often. But, but yeah. Not a bad machine. I'm gonna get onto the little higher pace trail here, and I'll hit the hit the road, and we'll do a top speed test. Now, I haven't quite got the top speed of this thing, but I have been driving it, and uh, you know, 30 miles an hour. <laughs> this thing seems like it's screaming. I'm sure. I think my 400 did 45 or so. I really think this can do at least 50, but. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> so we'll get on to her a little bit. Like I said, the straightaway is up here. So, but it does it does cruise real nice. It's a nice handling ATV. Probably due to the fact that it's so low. So right there's 26, 27, 29. I'm not full throttle, but you can hear it's starting to scream a little bit. Uh, there's no tachometer on this, so I couldn't tell you what the RPMs are, but... Yeah, you... This thing, you do feel very planted with it. 
because of that low center of gravity so it's very nice as far as handling and stuff if you don't need the ground clearance and you don't need the big machine this is a real nice real nice ATV Break the rear end loose a little bit. Just go. 33. This is full throttle here. 36. Uh, about 40. Uh, these hand guards are nice. I like them. Uh, you know they. Uh, on the cold days, it's not cold today, but on cold days it kind of helps keep some of the wind away from you. On warm days like this, if you're in the brush, it helps us, keeps the sticks out of you. So, uh, let's see. All right. So we'll do that top speed run here. Come to a stop. Get on to her. So, as you can see, gets up to 30 pretty quick. You know, we're doing 40, 42, but it is, the RPMs are up there, 48, 49, I did get 50, 51, 52, back off onto it for a little bit, when I get above this little knoll hammer on it, and uh, I, I see 52, so I'm, we'll see if we can get 55 out of it. <laughs> Seven, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, yeah, that's about it, that's screaming, nope, we got 54, <laughs> but that was screaming, I won't hold it there too long, otherwise she's uh, definitely not good for the motor. It's got that same tone as that Grizzly 660, actually here's that. 660 that I just was talking about. But. So, throw her in park. Shut her off, and uh, that was the end of the video. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see any other um, test runs that I do, just check out my channel. I got all kinds of four wheelers, some snow, uh, actually, all kinds of snow machines that I've done too. Um, just my opinion on some of these things and get to see how they go and uh all right well you guys have a good day and thanks for watching